and local disaster assistance is arriving after Friday night's deadly tornado killed close to two dozen people in the Mississippi Delta. Several other tornadoes were confirmed in neighboring states. One man was killed in Alabama after his trailer home flipped over several homes in severe weather. On Sunday, an apparent tornado hit Georgia, adding to this weekend's damage across parts of the Deep South. Mike Helgren is in Rolling Fork, Mississippi, where the destruction is most severe. The power of this storm is nothing short of incredible. You see here behind me how the winds threw two enormous 18-wheelers against each other and on top of what used to be a building here in Rolling Fork. Drone footage over Rolling Fork, Mississippi reveals the deadly tornado's impact for miles around. I know we can rebuild, but what you do with the devastation? What you do with all the help is on the way. Governor Tate Reeves urged residents to work together in the aftermath of the severe weather that ripped through western Mississippi and other parts of the Deep South. In times of tragedy, in times of crisis, they stand up and they show up. On Sunday, President Biden issued an emergency declaration for Mississippi making federal funds available to the hardest hit areas of one of the nation's poorest regions. The president has directed us to be here to assist the people of Mississippi to be here on an enduring basis. There is simply nothing left of many blocks of downtown Rolling Fork where homes, offices, and houses of worship have been destroyed from the tornado. The Oregon sat here, we were able to salvage it, we hope. Here in town, the powerful EF4 tornado leveled Father Greg Proctor's church. What's in your heart when you look at this damage? It's kind of devastating, it makes my heart sore, but I also am faithful that we can and will come through this. This weekend's fearsome storm spread far beyond the Mississippi state line. Early Sunday, a tornado reportedly touched down in Georgia's Troop County, destroying homes and downing power lines and trees in its path. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp issued a state of emergency throughout the impacted region. There is a lot of love in this community despite the heartbreak, with neighbors helping neighbors with whatever they can spare, food, clothing, drinks, as everyone tries to recover here in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Mike Helgren, WJZ. Shalom, shalom. Yes, Ariel, back at you with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashar, giving double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and the house of David is rising. This is the um, storm aftermath, and um, this is from WJZ News. Mississippi Deep South Devastating Deadly Storm. Picking up 18 wheeler trucks, um, smashing them together and crushing houses. It's like a war zone. So, I'm just going to go through a couple of these clips um, uh, just to see, man. See some of the um, some of the anger of the, mo the wrath of the Most High, man. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Let's check out a couple more of these. When, they, when you hear about tornadoes, Tornado Andy or something. Anyway, let's, let's, just, let's just listen out. Picking up 18 wheeler juggernaut trucks. You know the, the you know the most size turning up, turning up judgments. And it's been a little while since I've done videos on judgments of the most high. Let's check out another one. As we come on the air, a massive cleanup operation is underway in parts of the Deep South. More than two dozen people are dead, several missing from powerful tornadoes that ripped through Mississippi and Alabama. That weather system is now moving into the Northeast. The twister striking after dark, the night sky lit up by bursting transformers and lightning. Storm chasers joining residents and first responders combing through the rubble of homes. Looking at the devastation, one Mississippi resident said, there's nothing left. Homes and businesses ripped to shreds, the roof of this restaurant torn off, tables and chairs, and much of the inside left intact. At least 12 tornadoes reported, cars and even a tractor trailer sent flying. A water tower crumbled to the ground. Mississippi's governor declaring a state of emergency. And DHS Secretary Mayorkas offering assistance to the communities impacted. ABC's Phil Lipoff leads us off. Tonight, the deadly tornado emergency unfolding just after dark. Is there a big tornado, big wet? AccuWeather capturing that monster twister in Rolling Fork, Mississippi, northwest of Jackson. Almost impossible to see. 
illuminated by transformer power flashes and lightning that twister on the ground for more than 90 miles and southeast of Tupelo 90 miles what I think it's I think the name of the twister is alley tornado alley when you hear about 90 miles man that's <laughs> and it's devastating towns just living in towns like art uh, it's like it's been through a war um, tornado Alley. Mississippi, northwest of Jackson, almost impossible to see. Illuminated by transformer power flashes and lightning that twister on the ground for more than 90 miles. And southeast of Tupelo, another tornado emergency. The radar revealing a dire situation as the twister closed in. Oh man, like north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh man. Yeah, what, you got family there? Say a prayer, man. Say a prayer to Jesus. And Jesus ain't gonna hear you. He ain't gonna come for you. He's not, he's not, he's not a God. He doesn't exist. Now's the time. People are gonna realize, man. Now's the time to know the true Lord, man. The name of the high power Lord. Who's in control of the universe, the earth, the elements, and everything in between. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at this man. <laughs> Most are sending out, he, you know, he's laughing right now, but he's sending terror in the earth, man. The twister closed in. Oh, man. Like, north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh, man. <sighs> Dear Jesus, please help. <laughs> that more than two dozen killed in Mississippi, that's that uh, deep south, real right wing racist area. Also, I'm going to send devastation to them. Look at it. Look at that. Places of worship. Put, and you hear, you hear what the pastor said there? Or the white man. The white pastor with the collar on. He said, we have faith. We have faith in your devil, God. A tornado emergency. The radar revealing a dire situation as the twister closed in. Oh, man. Like, north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh, man. Dear Jesus, please help them. Hey, y'all need help over there! Back in Rolling Fork, storm chasers joining first responders and residents in a race to help the injured. Need help over here! Tragically, not everyone survived. That is Esau's under pressure, man. You know, I was watching one of the documentaries yesterday. Uh, UFO classified um, investigation, something to that effect. And you had one um, soldier who worked on the aircraft carrier and he said when he saw that what they call ufos hovering over he said that he, he uh, same if yet yeah, you see this man here <laughs> this is what he, his head went into his arms and he said i felt like a whole chill go through my body and he said i actually felt like it, it came for me it came for me meaning the the edomites them the chariots the edomites know that the chariots are back here, your whole shy rough are coming back for them. And he said he felt a whole chill go through his body. He said, I know it's coming, I felt like it was coming back from me. So when you hear about chariots and he, he re does their reports on chariots, they take it personal. They know, they know what it's about. They know your whole shy coming back via his tornadoes, earthquakes. Uh, Isaiah 45, Isaiah 29 talks about the elements coming back. He kill, he make alive. They know, they feel it in their spirit. This is the end for them. Oh man, like north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh man. And that's how they feel when the chariots go over their heads. They know they're being watched, they're being scoped out. Zechariah 5 and 4. They come, he's coming back for them. The thieves, they know. Dear Jesus, please help them. Hey, y'all need help over there! Back in Rolling Fork, storm chasers joining first responders and residents in a race to help the injured. Need help over here! Tragically, not everyone survived. That is very disturbing. Like actually seeing people losing their lives over a bad weather like this. More than two dozen people losing their lives across the storm zone. 
our Rob Marciano is in Rolling Fork. They've been working all night long, searching and rescuing people here in the town of Rolling Fork. You can see they've even brought in uh, heavy equipment because the, some of the debris is so compact. First light revealing devastating scenes, trucks thrown into piles of wreckage, homes and trees all uprooted. Now that the sun is getting higher in the sky, you're getting a, a real sense for just how much this town has been leveled. Some of these buildings you can't even make out. This is some sort of industrial uh, building completely flat. Mississippi's governor declaring a state of emergency. Survivors now facing the death and destruction left behind. Dana Dew says she and her husband lost everything, describing how he sprang into action as the tornado closed in. He jumped up out of the bed and I jumped up out of the bed and he threw me in the closet and held on to me and we rode it out. And tonight, we're learning more about some of the lives lost there. Among them, Mary Barfield Bush, a grandmother, her niece sharing with ABC, Mary was a sweet and caring soul with a beautiful smile that lit up the room. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York. Hi, everyone. This is coming in. Oh, man. That's the, that's the one there. That's the look right there. That is it. Man, and they're saying there's evidence the tornado, tornado alley is expanding. So that 90 mile journey is, is getting bigger. More in the uh, more in the southeast, where the tornado where tornado alley has tragically um, traditionally been, deadly storms devastate in the south, man. So this is from ABC News. Could have stated that guy. He's under pressure, man. And that's the same feeling they get when that when the chariots go over their head. They know they say, "Oh, I felt like a it was a big like a breeze went through me." Like a chill went through my body. And he said, I, I, I felt like it, that chariot. The, all these documentaries on chariots nowadays, man. People people getting warnings, man. Your whole show is on his way back. Let me hit a preset. Just about to head out. Let me just do this. I said, let me just do this quick video. I was watching the news last night. Holy per judgments is going out. Some, what they call in a transvestite at the moment transgender at the moment shot up six people in um in one of the school shootings so judgment is going out left right and center oh there's also protest protesting now we know about the one in france but now there's one in in egypt no it's not in egypt it's in israel protesting so we're going to be covering Ab abaratazar more videos throughout the this week on different types of subjects and i'm homing in on this one right now this is um one of the most um newest one to me but let's bring this one out. Zephaniah chapter 3 and 5 says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity every morning. Do if he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Every morning does he bring his judgments to light. <sighs> Most high, he's not sleeping. His time is rising, his time is returning. Yahweh, why Yahweh is returning? Let's hit this next one here, and then we're going to end off the video. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on the... Oh, this is from uh, CBS News. Evening. This Sunday, tonight, several states in the southeast have taken a beating. Severe weather leaving a devastating and deadly mark. At least 26 people were killed after powerful tornadoes ripped through the Mississippi Delta. Today, President Biden declared a major disaster in the storm-battered state and ordered federal funding for some counties. Tonight, nine million people are still at risk of severe weather. CBS's Omar Villafranca is on one of the hardest-hit communities of Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Omar, good evening. Good evening. 13 people were killed here in Rolling Fork, a small community of about 2,000, and they cannot catch a break. It is raining. There is more storms that are going to be in the forecast, and that is slowing down the cleanup effort. In Rolling Fork, Mississippi, the damage is widespread 
and in every direction. The deadly EF4 tornado, with wind speeds up to 170 miles per hour, turned homes and businesses into piles of rubble. Instead of Sunday service, it's a salvage mission for Pastor Greg Proctor at what's left of his Chapel of the Cross church. We are standing in the choir loft. The tornado tore the roof off the chapel and smashed the bell tower. One of the few things that survived without a scratch was this brand new stained glass window honoring Francis Mitchell's 96-year-old grandmother, Ricky Moore, a longtime church member. When you pulled up here, did you think it was gone? Yeah. I can't explain it. She means a lot to me, and I cannot believe that that window is still there. In nearby Amory, a school was pounded by the winds. The storms left a 170-mile path of destruction. They started in Mississippi, then traveled east, where hail hammered Alabama. And in Georgia, a pair of tornadoes battered the western part of the state, leveling dozens of homes and prompting the governor to issue a state of emergency. Back in Rolling Fork, Pastor Proctor says the storm may have destroyed the church, but not the spirit of the congregation. Are you determined to have this congregation meet again? Yes. One way or the other, we will rise again as a congregation. Oh, what's that? Um, Malachi, they shall rebuild, but I shall tear down. Oh, okay. <laughs> he shall rebuild, but I shall throw down again. He said, the church has been mashed up, but the, not the congregation. Dozens of homes and prompting the governor to issue a state of emergency. Back in Rolling Fork, Pastor Proctor says the storm may have destroyed the church, but not the spirit of the congregation. Are you determined to have this congregation meet again? Yes. One way or the other, we will rise again as a congregation. Got one, I got one. Malachi chapters 1 and 4 says, Where is Edom saith? We are impoverished, but we will not but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, they shall build of the congregation. Are you determined to have this congregation meet again? Yes. One way or the other, we will rise again as a congregation. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call their borders of wickedness. Uh, they shall build and I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. There, yeah, you're going to rebuild. That's like what he just said there. Most of us say he's going to throw down. And these are people that he has his anger against. His face is against them forever. So there's not going to be no mercy or forgiveness for these people. Enough said. Emergency shelters are open to get people out of this weather, and there are crews from multiple states here helping, trying to get people back on their feet. But FEMA says this recovery will take a long time. And even if you do, it may take a long time. And even if you do rebuild, what did the old boy Shimmy Ho Shai say? Was it say Malachi 4 1 and 4 says, Where is Edom? Say if we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Jerika? Absolutely. Enough said. Enough said. They shall build, but I will throw down. We're going to end off the video. This is the one that really stands out for me. This one really stands out for me, this one. He knows the time is running out. Very, very near now for you. For you to go back in shackles. The people made Isaiah uh, 34, Isaiah 40. Is it Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah 34, man. The people made for his, Yehovah, Yehovah's curse. As the twister closed in. Oh, man. Like, north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh, man. <sighs> Isaiah 34 and 5 says, For my soul shall be bathed in heaven behold i shall come down upon idumia upon the people of my curse the judgments the sword of the lord is filled with blood it will it is made fat with fatness and with the blood of the lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams for the lord have a sacrifice in bosra and a great slaughter in the land of idumia 
It's getting real. The chickens are coming home to roost. They're closed in. Oh man, like north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh man. Isaiah 29 and 5 says, Moreover, the multitudes of thy strangers shall be like small dust, and the multitudes of the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passeth away, yet it shall be at the at an instant, suddenly. Yeah. You're never gonna have time next time, man. You might not you might be up there caught up caught up in it. What was he doing, man? Praying to who? Who's he praying to? Dear Jesus, please help them. <laughs> uh, thou shalt be visited of, of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. This is Isaiah 29 and 6 now. And great noise with storms and tempests and the flames of devouring fire. We're going to end off the video, man. Enough said. I just wanted to catch up on some of the aftermath of this, um, this hurricane, Hurricane Alley. And he's, uh, he's expanding as we speak right now over there in the deep south. Mississippi, Alabama, all those deep south racist areas. Enough said. Give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. For uh, give, give me the spirit to do this video. The house of David is rising and everything the wicked have done to us. Past, present and future is falling upon their own head. Closed in. Oh man. Like north side of Amory, this is coming in. Oh man. Dear Jesus, please help them. Jesus can't help them. Shallow arm until the next one. You don't hear them. There is no Jesus. One more time. Oh, man. Dear Jesus, please help them.